Here's our uh, rudder stock. Um, you can see here that I've put on a couple of coats of uh, epoxy on this, and uh, so it's quite glossy and uh, waterproof. And uh, likewise, on the other side of what is the stock, I've put um, epoxy coating on here. This is in preparation for it now to be uh, glued together. Uh, here's my glue. So I've just mixed up uh, a normal glue, uh, slightly runnier, and then just added a little bit of uh, wood flour, I suppose they call it, but it's just very, very fine shavings. You don't want sort of lumps of wood in your glue, but that sort of colours it up. And as you can see, it's a reasonably good match for for this because um, I want to finish this uh, bright, as in uh, varnished. And so I just don't want to see a white glue line down the side of the stock. That's why I've done that. Glue's now spread over this uh, rudder stock. As you can see, um, I've sort of just spread it out and very careful getting close to the edge of uh, where I'm going to put the, the sheave inside this. Because we don't want to get too much glue squeeze out coming in around there because it uh, may actually foul the sheave and the line that's going to go through it so uh, it's just uh, sort of thinned it out near the edge probably get a little nice round bead coming out on the inside uh, but we don't want too much to squeeze out let's have a walk around of the rudder stock and tiller now so i've sanded over the uh, edges uh, it's just to make sure um, that the finish can actually stick as well as uh, you know just during use any bumps on a sharp edge will normally take the uh, paint or varnish off. So that's what we've got there. I've uh, just planed down these edges here just to bring these level and together. And again uh, with the front face of it here as well. Looking down the tiller itself you'll see just on here that I've left a little bit of a flat here this is where the tiller extension uh, will attach to the tiller itself tiller extension just has a little uh, pad with a rubber swivel on the top of it that the um, probably an aluminium a small aluminium shaft will attach to that uh, which will be the extension and the end of the tiller we've rounded over quite nicely uh, because of course that's uh, where you'll be hanging on to it so you want that to be quite comfortable to hold on to. At the bottom of the rudder stock here you can see the portion that I filled up with epoxy. Um, should have made that probably a little bit darker but nonetheless that will be fine so that little problem that we had earlier on um, quite easily fixed as I said it would be there. Now the next steps for this is that uh, we'll put two coats of epoxy on it. Um, this is one of those parts of the boat that does get quite a bit of a, a knocking around. So uh, we'll put two coats of epoxy on. We'll uh, then sand that smooth. The epoxy will soak into the wood and that will really uh, help preserve the wood in use. And uh, from there we'll, um, I'll be finishing this bright so I'll, I'll probably give it about four or five uh, coats of varnish over the next uh, two weeks and that will finish this off.